Now, the Spanish dictator Francisco Franco died 44 years ago. Today, his remains were moved from the Valley of the Fallen, which is a national monument in Spain, not far from Madrid, and it's been moved to a cemetery inside the north of the city. Here are some of the pictures that have been coming in through the day. As you can see here, uh, the coffin was put into a helicopter. Only a priest, a forensic expert, the justice minister, and 22 descendants were allowed to attend the event. A crane was needed to lift 1,500 kilograms of concrete that had been covering the coffin. These are other pictures of the Valley of the Fallen. For Franco supporters, it's really become a shrine and a place of pilgrimage. More than 30,000 bodies from both sides of the Spanish Civil War are still buried there. And this was all built by prisoners of war who were made to help construct the monument. Now, these are pictures from inside the cemetery in the north of Madrid where the reburial has taken place. Franco will lie next to his late wife. And as you can see from here, there were some protests from both Franco supporters who object to the reburial and some local residents were taking part too. Now, the relocation of Franco's remains fulfills a pledge of the socialist government. It said Spain should not continue to glorify a fascist. Here's the acting prime minister today. The mausoleum of the Valley of the Fallen was built with the sacrifice of thousands of political prisoners of the dictatorship. The mortal remains of almost 34,000 compatriots are there, all victims of the civil war. The reopening of the valley will symbolise something very different. The memory of a pain that should never be repeated and a tribute to all the victims of hate. Thank you. Now, a poll for the newspaper El Mundo, El Mundo found that 43% of people supported doing this, over 30% opposed it, the rest were undecided. Franco's family actually tried to challenge the reburial in the courts, but that was unsuccessful. Here's his grandson speaking ahead of today's events. I feel rage um, seeing that it's been used as propaganda and publicity for the very next elections. However, descendants of Franco's victims have been pushing for this relocation. This is one former political prisoner. It was time to move him. We've waited many decades for Franco to disappear from this monument, which, in and of itself, was the shame of Spain. All the dictators of Franco's ilk, Hitler and Mussolini, have vanished from Europe and were not honored with such tombs. The truth is, the contradiction was obvious between a democracy and a monument dedicated to the cult of a man who was the opposite of democratic. Well, the journalist Jennifer Amani was outside the cemetery today and I spoke to her a few minutes ago. So, yes, I spent the, the uh, most of the morning and some of the afternoon as well outside the El Pardo Cemetery. Um, so we obviously saw the, the arrival of the helicopter, the hearse and um, the members of the Franco family um, going into the cemetery, but the rest was completely closed off. Um, it was an intimate and a private ceremony, as the government had promised to the family. Um, what uh, we had not anticipated perhaps um, so strongly was that the large group of Franco supporters who positioned themselves um, just down the road from the cemetery and um, sang Franco era anthems, um, brandished um, flags and in some cases um, fascist paraphernalia mm -hmm. as well. Um, and who were very vocal in their in their criticism of the government and were eager to um, to inform everybody present that they were not happy with this decision. And given that Franco was a dictator, given that he oversaw many abuses of power, what do his supporters say in his defence? Well, it depends. Um, some of them um, believe that um, the, the past should be left in the past, so that um, there is no point in stirring um, old ghosts, that, that Franco is dead and society has moved on. Um, others uh, go much further than that and say that touching um, his coffin is a desecration. They refer to, uh, to the prime minister as somebody who has desecrated uh, the corpse of Franco. So um, they see Franco, some of them see Franco's rightful place as in, in the valley, um, others are less bothered about that, but they um, just don't like the way that this has been done. And still others don't like the fact that taxpayers' money has been used to do this. That's something they also raise. We've only one minute left, but I wonder what locals are making of this, people who live near the cemetery. 
Well, um, I did speak to to one man um, who lived nearby, um, and he told me that he um, he thought actually this was a good thing that event that this would sort of detoxify uh, the valley um, and would allow the, the victims there to, to rest in peace without um, the fascist pilgrimages we've seen over the last few years. Um, he told me he thought Franco would uh, end up being forgotten in this cemetery.